Hi, today we're looking at a new feature in AutoCon 2.0 which is called Stock Take. This feature is going to be extremely useful for companies that actually keep stock in AutoCon. Alright, so to do this, all we just need to do is come to Stock, come to Stock Take, press New, and then you can begin your Stock Take. Of course, the most important thing when we do this, we have to make sure that our date here is correct. Right, so especially if you want to do year end, you'll be like things like 31st of December. But for this example, I will put here 31st of May 2021. Right, and if for example you have multiple locations, you can select here from the locations field. Right, okay. So the next thing that you need to do is instead of calling out one item by one item, which you can, you can actually have this function called add item by filtering. All right, to add the item by filtering, you can just click here. All right, and you can actually select filtering by different different categories. For your normal auto count basic, you have these three function code group of type. For those with advanced inventory module, you can actually filter by brand category or class. So let's say for example, I want to do some filtering here, so I can click here. I can select filter by multi select. I can select okay. Let's say I want to select all. But I don't want to say new. Okay, so I'm gonna check this. I press OK. And press OK. The whole list will come up. Alright. So if you can see here, there's a quantity on hand. This is what the system is actually calculating for you as of 31st of May. Alright. So now let's say it's in the month of June. Of course, the quantity might even vary already. Okay. So let's say, for example, now the quantity. We have counted here is maybe five pieces all we just need to do is select here and put five here we have 10 pieces and then here maybe we have 30 pieces all right and one common thing when we do stock take is that sometimes your stock take might last more than a day all right so what happens is AutoCAD has this function where you can actually save this transaction first and the next day when you come back you actually can continue again so let's say example we press save here all right and the next day you log into your auto account you come in, in and we just need to select here and we just press edit all right and we can just continue from there so let's say today i want to make sure that here this is zero quantity and then from here uh, here we can put here maybe one quantity all right and then the system will calculate for you all right so let's say now this is all the adjustments that we have made of course, those that have no physical quantity, the system will assume that quantity on hand is correct. All right. So to do the adjustment, we need to come up here. There's one called post to adjustment. Click here, post to adjustment. So when we make the post to adjustment, we have to make sure that again the date is correct. All right. So let's say example, we change back the date to 31st May 2021. All right. And then we just press save. So straight away you can see this stock to adjustment there is a stock adjustment posting date 31st may let's say now we want to cross check and see whether our quantity is correct or we just do is press new again we select the date as of 31st may 2021 put an item by filtering and then press ok so now you can see the quantity has been updated as of 31st of may all right okay so that's it for today we hope that you find this guide helpful to like and subscribe to be notified when we release new guides thank you very much